Life beckons. Choose wisely. Hey, welcome back to Jez Brew Views. Today it's going to be a beer from King Tai Brewing. King Tai Brewing is located in Kosaba. This is kindly donated to me by my uh, brother-in-law. It is a Solidarity Pilsner. It says on the back here that this is brewed in tradition of the classic Polish lagers. This Pilsner brings a meeting, a little extra malt hops and alcohol to keep revo- revolutionary tide rising. Solidarity, my friends. Long live Mr. President. Long live Lech. Nah, Dre. I don't know. Like, not very good Polish. Um, yeah, so ABV is 5.3%. So it's 1.6 standard per can. Not sure on the price point. And yeah, like I said, it is a new brewery. I think they do food as well. It's like a kind of a brewery brew pub, you know what I mean? Like okay, Caddy Coffs. Okay. Let's chuck it in a Sanctus beer glass. I was at Sanctus today. Oh, it's an active beer, as Swill and Grog would say that I say. Now, Hef says, look at that. Right, eh? It's like a Bolshevik uprising, isn't it? Look at that. So, uh, yeah, so King Tide has started up and... Uh, Pretty sure they're canning and brewing everything on site, I would imagine. All right, we're going to have to let this settle and come back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So we're just going to go off this. All right, so it's yeah, super active. Heaps of carbonation streaming up. Uh, these glasses are a bit like headmasters, so we'll retain head as well. So yeah, heaps of bubbles streaming up. I've uh, got a stack of head. Color is uh, definitely a haze appearance, a chill haze, haze. Uh, I can still see the bubbles though, that's for sure. Uh, and, and the colour, I suppose, you'd be a hazy straw appearance. Yeah, that's pretty close enough. The aroma. Yeah, a lot of dense, um, like grain, a bit of a grain aroma, and some hop residue. A bit of hop bitterness aroma. That makes sense of a noble hop. I don't know, maybe that. I should say probably I just say a lot no hop probably a bit like it's like a bit of a herbal herbal slight herbal aroma. Right now, let's get into it. Cheers is all and cheers to uh, Mars. Let's get into it. Yeah, so the flavour wise it follows the nose, it's, it, it's got a lot of grain flavour. Maybe a slight bit of lemon. The hop flavour to me is normally the Pilsners have a slight more bitterness than the standard European lagers, a little bit more of a Bitterness with the SARS. Am I picking that up? No, I wouldn't say it's really got that real punchy Pilsner um, bitterness at the back. It is more similar to uh, a Zawik or Zawik. Uh, Polish lager finish to me. If you want, they talk about Polish on the back, it's more of a Polish lager finish to the beer. The flavour is pretty pleasant. Body light to medium, highly drinkable and uh, super highly sessionable. Yeah, so it has a, oh yeah, drinking wise a sessionability which these beers are really made for. Yeah, quite quite decent. So I'm happy to say, uh, so a sensation really is high, price point not sure. So I'm happy to say for, uh, for a score, I'm happy to give this a good. It's a good uh, craft Australian brew Pilsner. And uh, I look forward to, I had their Baltic Porter in the fridge and I think I had their IPA. So looking forward to trying that as well. In the meantime, also reviewing all those beers that uh, Travis sent me. So. King Tai Brewing, go through Kosala, maybe call in there. 
Uh, cost is not bypass yet. It should be, but it's not yet. So you can, if you're traveling through, you can probably call there and grab a six pack or have lunch there or something. I don't know, but uh, whatever takes your fancy. But uh, uh, this first beer, Pilsen normally dictates to me what it's going to be like. Um, and I think that it's a pretty, pretty decent beer. It's a good beer. So well done to them. So thanks for watching episode, Jez Beer Reviews. Till next time, you guys all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.